Hey, what's up, sir? I'm Dan. Today, I want to talk to you guys about soul ties, you know what I'm saying? And what I really realized about soul ties, bro. The reason why I don't go around, like, messing with a whole bunch of people and stuff is because I, I learned about soul ties and stuff. But I know it would be cool, you know what I'm saying, if I, like, added in a whole bunch of different girls in my videos and shit, you know what I'm saying? It'd be pretty lit and stuff, but I ain't trying to do that shit, bro, because I really learned about this shit, bro. And the first thing I want to say about this shit is, um, bruh, you ever really, you ever really had like a friend or something that was like real cool, bro, until he started dating somebody. And then as soon as he started dating that person, what happened to that motherfucker, bro? He, he completely changed. He probably even stopped hanging out with you guys and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He's like way more up his girl's booty hole, you know what I'm saying? And like just doesn't seem like the same person even when you do see him now and stuff and that's the type of stuff that soul ties really does to somebody bro you'll really start to become the person that you're you're dating and stuff and what i realized is like you pick up on their traits you know what i'm saying like let's say this person likes to smoke weed or something you'll end up probably wanting to smoke weed. Another thing I want to say too is if you have a really strong mindset, it probably won't happen, bro. But another thing I want to say too is just really think about like when a person gets hurt by somebody who cheated on them, who do they turn into? They turn into that person that cheated on them. You know what I'm saying? Like the same exact person. Like now they're out here hurting people doing the same exact thing that hurt them to other people and stuff and if you also notice these people are like they're like they have like no type of feeling towards it like they don't they don't have no type of feeling towards the people that they're doing this to is what i was saying bro and it's very real bro i'm telling y'all bro it's um something that i really realized to the point where it's like it really made me it really made me stay away from people for a while bro like and now i know like i gotta test people out to the point where if i notice that they don't have good energy then i don't even want to do nothing with them type shit no more bro and i'm just trying to put y'all onto it bro because i know y'all seen your homeboy or your homegirl straight just change out of nowhere bro she probably pulled up smoking a backwood or something you know what i'm saying like <laughs> And before that, before that relationship, she was not even smoking like that. She'd probably take like two hits or something. And, bro, it's very real, bro. I'm just trying to put y'all onto it, bro. There's, there's a lot of things that happen, bro. Like, let's say you, you like to eat something and this person completely hates it, but you get her to try it. Then she starts to like it. Then eventually you'll realize Damn, bro, this big game plates of this shit now. Like, what the fuck? Like, bro, it's real, bro. It's what I really realized, bro. And, like, another thing, too, is what I realized, like, bro, there's people out here that they start to become like each other, which I, I don't really see nothing really wrong with that because, like, if you're really with the person that you're with, I don't see nothing wrong with you being similar to them in a way. But there's certain people out here that probably don't belong together but they um they're acting like each other like they might laugh like each other they probably dress like each other they probably do the same things with each other like i don't know bro it's just something that you got to really open your eyes up to you'll realize what i'm talking talking about though bro like it's just something that's like a lot of people aren't really aware of and i'm trying to make y'all aware of it bro because i've gotten aware of, i've gotten like pretty aware of it and it's just it's very real bro like there's just a whole bunch of things bro like what what i was saying about like when a person gets hurt by somebody that person turns into the person that hurt them that that's really a soul tie bro like if you really think about it because before that person got hurt like that, they were probably all loving and caring and stuff. And then after they got hurt, that piece of heart that they had is gone. Like they have like real deal, no type of emotions for people. And 
they like they find it funny now to hurt people just like the person that hurt them probably found it funny to hurt them you know what i'm saying and another thing i was gonna say too damn i kind of forgot what i was gonna say it has something to do with this though um Oh, I was gonna say, if you notice, bro, it's like a never ending effect too, because that person that hurt them, turned them into a person that hurts people. And now this person is going around hurting people, turning that person into more people that hurt people. And it's just a effect that just keeps going on and on and on, you know what I'm saying? And it's really just a, strong soul tie that's affecting these people and stuff and i really realized that bro i really woke up to it and i also know that like it has to do with certain spirits that pop on to people you know what i'm saying jump into people when you're having sex with them and stuff too you know what i'm saying because there's spirits like jazabel spirits that really turn people into this type of person and stuff too and stuff and it's just something that is very real bro like i really seen people get destroyed by this like i've seen people be like real faithful in relationships and get with somebody who isn't faithful but like not have like the the strength to leave this person and end up being just like this person just like them cheating on each other and stuff and like from time to time they cheat on each other and like it's cool to them in a way but it's really that soul tie, you know what I'm saying? That they got them locked, you know what I'm saying? And um, also the Jezebel spirits really take over these people, bro. And it also makes them have kids with people that they're not supposed to have kids with and all types of stuff like that, bro. And I really seen this shit really like play out in people's lives, bro. I've known people for years and I've really, really seen this, bro. It, it can also happen with like jealousy spirits too. like. I really seen people be cool and then after years go by them same spirits that that one person they're with is now on them and now they act just like that spirit just like that soul tie just like that one person bro and it's very real bro i'm telling you and i know y'all know i ain't capping by how i know y'all got at least a home girl at least one home girl a homeboy you know what i'm saying that has completely changed like 100 percently changed as a person after they got with somebody you can't tell me i'm capping bro like be real bro you know you know what i'm saying is 100 bro like for real bro this shit is like really on point bro no cap i really i really pay attention to things now and stuff and like i really sit down and think like why is this this way and stuff and then i start looking into it and stuff you know what i'm saying and i really been learning a lot you know what i'm saying and this is a big reason to why i don't really mess with people like that bro because i know what it comes with now and i don't want nobody's toxic energy on me you know what i'm saying and another thing that happens with these soul ties too is like when you're having sex with somebody your energy like let's say you have some real good energy your energy will swap with this person and their negative energy will swap with you and it's just like something that really happens bro like i know you can really sit down and think of a certain relationship that you've seen somebody in or maybe you've been in and you really realize like damn bro like ever since i got with that one person or ever since i seen that one person get with that one person they just completely changed, bro. Like, they probably turned into an alcoholic, probably smoke a ton of weed now, probably smoke backwoods, but they didn't used to smoke backwoods. And now they do all these things. They probably do other drugs too and stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, they do a lot, you know what I'm saying? They change a lot and stuff. And these are also the same types of people that when they get with somebody, they just disappear and stuff. But I really think like, if you have a really strong mindset, you know yourself enough to know like yeah bro i'm not gonna let nothing really change me in a way you know yourself a little too much but like for the people that don't know this stuff bro they completely change bro 
and they they kind of just let like these people run their lives in a way like completely in a way where it's like damn bro i really remember people being a certain way and they're not like that no more and it's crazy bro like let's say you get with somebody who's always stressed out all the time eventually bro like years go down the line your ass gonna end up being stressed out all the time bro and it's just it's heavy duty bro like for real like it's something that really happens bro like if you can really wake up to it you know and people think i'm tripping and stuff because i i don't want to mess with nobody and stuff or i mean i do want to mess with somebody but i just don't want to waste my time with like somebody that <clears throat> i'm not gonna stay with type shit i'd rather not you know what i'm saying because it's just it's not worth it bro after i learned all this it's like bro why why would i do that like bro i don't really know you like that like you could have demons on you bro you could be a whole ass demon demon person bro like straight up demon out here bro and you just hiding it for a, for the time being and then a few months down the line then demons start to come out that ass bro you know what i'm saying and i ain't with that shit bro i just see some demons come out these holes bro like <laughs> for real no cap bro and that's why i just i i try to stay low key and and really really test people out before i even do anything with them because if i sense you got that toxic on you uh-uh uh-uh baby you gotta go you gotta go go you ain't you ain't touching me like straight up no cap bro like real deal bro i'm just i'm just trying to put y'all on bro you know what i'm saying because it's real deal bro like i know i know even people have seen their their parents get with people and before your parents got with somebody who was that person bro she was cool as fuck you know what i'm saying or you're your dad was cool as fuck and then they get with this person now they're stressed out all the time they're always angry they're like oh shut the fuck up don't talk to me type shit you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm talking about right there bro that shit is heavy duty real bro it's real deal you know what i'm saying i had to keep it one thou while with y'all you know what i'm saying because i know a lot of y'all aren't aware of this stuff i really wasn't aware of it either for a long time bro and I really became aware of it and I really started to pay attention to like people in relationships that I know and stuff and like really see how how they're how they get affected by this not how they're but how they really get affected by it and stuff and I've had friends that like really just got in a relationship and just like straight up don't want to hang out no more disappear for a while and then like a few months down the line when that relationship's falling apart now they want to um come back around and shit and it's like bro what the hell bro that shit is crazy it's like a damn devil just took a hold of you took you away for a minute then the demon came out of that devil you know what i'm saying or the person whatever and things fell apart and now your eyes want to come back around with them damn demons on you and shit bro hell no nah, bro you better Take that shit somewhere else bro straight up you know what i'm saying but not really like that you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna really treat nobody like that i'll just rebuke them demons out of them you know what i'm saying probably pray against that soul tie for him and shit because he probably don't know about it you know what i'm saying but it's real deal bro is what i was trying to put y'all on to bro i know y'all probably some of y'all probably think this video is a little too beyond and stuff but bro you can look this stuff up bro it's very real i'm not the only person talking about it how you think i know about it bro like i really really learn a lot off the internet and stuff bro and i really pay attention to a lot of stuff that i want to learn about because i'm trying to become like the greatest version of me and stuff and out here swapping energies with the demons bro you demon people, it ain't it, bro. Is what I realized, bro. If any of y'all are going through that shit too right now, bro, I advise you to get the hell away from these people, bro, because they will destroy you as a person. Then you'll be out here like a Karen, all pissed off every day and stuff, like, for no reason. You don't even know why you're pissed off. You're just out here pissed off and shit. And that's all I really had to say for this video, though. Peace out, 7 my game.